Hey treasure hunters! Uh, I love this item, this upcoming item, but I decided to sell it uh, anyway because I wanted some of the other items that um, I got from the promo collection that I received. Uh, this is the Chronicles of Sir Francis Drake, and I wanted to do a video on it just so I wouldn't forget what's inside it. It says the Chronicles of Sir Francis Drake, and it's really beautifully made. You can see they went a lot, went into a lot of detail. This is a press kit item. The game would have come with it, but it did not. See, the, the game would have fit into this little part of the box. It is a box, but it does have a book component to it. Uh, it says, There must be a beginning of any great matter, but the continuing unto the end, until it be thor thoroughly finished, yields the true glory. Sir Francis Drake, 1587. And, of course, if you played Uncharted, you know how important this book is. This is the book that Drake carries with him throughout his adventure and references the clues from. So, are the clues actually here? Yes, they are. So there's stuff about the game and there's stuff about Sir Francis Drake. Um, by the time Sir Francis Drake died of dysentery, off the Panamanian coast in 1596, he was already a legend. The humble son of a Plymouth tailor, he rose to become one of the greatest sea captains ever known. But who was the man behind the legend? Drake was a man of contrast. While a hero to the English, the Spanish equated him with the devil. The bounty placed on his head would have been worth over half a million pounds today. During his finest hour in the battle against the Spanish Armada, Drake endangered his own side by stopping to plunder a ship that he knew to be carrying the Armada's wages. In writing this volume, I have aimed to separate fact from legend in order to pin down the truth about this man of contradictory qualities. I hope that you'll enjoy the voyage. Wilford Huxley, 1932. So then you have this little ribbon, little placeholder ribbon bookmark thing, and it says, Birth of a Legend, and it goes on and on and on and on and on. And then it has this hardcover bit right here. So that's that portion of it. And then the promo items really come into play. So we have a soundtrack sampler, and it says El Dorado Mega Mix by DJ Shadow, Drake's Elegy, Nate's Theme, and Sanctuary with a question mark. And it just has original score composed by Greg Edmondson, and some Naughty Dog stuff, 2007 Sony. So there you go. Also here is a DVD case. So this is a classic press materials. When I open this up, it's just going to be a disc. And the disc actually has like a fake copy stain on it, which is fantastic. And it says it's a press disc. So it'll be art and assets and other things that press would use. Now this item, I, don't remember, uh, I remember using this in the game, this photograph with the holes cut in it. And he uses this in part of a um, one of the puzzles. And there's a little note here. Looks like a photo's attached to it. Of a skull. And I'm going to go ahead and read this one. This one's cool. Dear friend, I'm glad you've taken the time to open this book. It's more interesting than it looks from its cover, right? However, the fact that you found it means that I'm in trouble and I desperately need your help. I'm Nathan Drake, a treasure hunter by trade. I'm writing this letter as insurance tonight. Tomorrow I set off on what could be the biggest expedition of my life. I can't tell you exactly where I am as I am following the trail of my ancestor, Sir Francis Drake, who's been dead for four centuries. My mission and my fear is to find his latest treasure. Last treasure, sorry. And where, this is, where there is money, there is always trouble. All I know is that it's an island in the Pacific an island that could contain the greatest treasure the world has ever seen. Please keep this diary safe. It contains everything I have collected thus far regarding Sir Francis Drake's disappearance. A lot of people want to get their hands on this information, so you would be wise not to contact anyone regarding the diary. It's not safe to go to anyone in my business. God willing, I will thank you in person and, of course, reward you for your help. That's a cool little letter. Bye, Nathan Drake. 
Now this has a little rubber band on it. This is um, Nathan Drake's little book and it has all the photographs and everything. Elena Fisher, bio in here, bunch of photos, newspaper clippings, Victor Sullivan's bio and a key, and um, this is a bunch of quotes from the developer it seems. The next gen adventure from Naughty Dog develops developers of Crash Bandicoot and Jack Daxter. Uh, do, 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 do. Hyper realistic water effects with refraction, reflection, and physics based wave simulation. Water was a big deal. Okay, so this is also a map that was in there. And this is a map of where Nathan is supposedly going. And it's got all these coffee stains and splats all over it, which is really cool. It looks like an old map. And it's the map of Sir Francis Drake. So that goes in that little notebook thing. And then it has the uh, rubber band around it. So, that's a cool little press item. There's nothing more in the box. And the back just has a compass with SFD on it. Sir Francis Drake. And I'm just going to put everything kind of back where it was. But that is one of the coolest promo items. There is a lot of really cool promo items, promo items for the Uncharted series. I remember when Uncharted 2 came out, there was um, a press thing with the... Uh, it had the dagger and everything in it that he uses in the game. So there's a lot of really cool items out there. Of course, all very expensive and hard to find. So someone bought this on eBay from me. Unfortunately it couldn't stay in my collection, but um, I'm sure that the person that bought it will be happy with it. Thanks for watching!